to wash it out. We're live now? Well, not yet, we're not. Hey guys, it's Meme and my trusty sidekick. And old Vinny is here, and my sidekick over there, Shannon, is here also. And welcome to Tuesday Night Live. We're excited to be with you guys tonight. We hope that you will enjoy the show tonight. And if you enjoy what you see, we want you to click that red button and subscribe and help us reach our goal of 400,000 subscribers in 2022. With your help, I know we can make it. Also, if you're new here, we have an online craft store and everything that you see used today is available for purchase most of the time <laughs> on that website at www.maymaymadeit.com. And why I say most of the time is because sometimes stuff sells out. After this show, we'll do the Crafter After Show where we can talk about whatever we want to talk about. We will look at a se segment we call Across the Miles where we'll see all of the stuff that people have sent in to us from our subscribers all over the country, all over the world. And then we'll show you what new product or some products that we have in the store uh, so that you'll be able to take advantage of those things. May May, let's get her going. Benny's looking quite dapper in that white shirt, someone said. Oh, cool. Thank You're looking you dapper, much. darling. We're here. Tonight, I'm going to make a product. Here's what I thought. I can either make a project with you guys with me or I can film something for you and then have to do this on the side, like have to do it extra. And I thought, you guys say you want to see everything I do. So brace yourself for boring. <laughs> brace yourself for boring. But this just might hit a note for you too. It might, it might cover a need you guys have too. Okay. So Shannon is going to move us to the surface and we're going to talk about what we're going to do tonight. So every year I attempt to make enough tags for my family, like for them to have their own personal tag. And you guys might have watched, zoom in. Okay. You guys might have watched, um, a little blurry. well, you know, I didn't check it before, so I should have, oh, I went way too close. Yeah. Sorry. Too Better? Yeah, okay. There so, um, you guys may have seen a couple of years ago, I, and it's been a couple years ago, I made Christmas tags personalized for my children. And I did it where I picked a stamp for each one, like an image. And I did their name with our, um, our bold font, or I think it's called Alpha Bold. And that was a lot of fun. And I made so many that year that it covered two Christmases. And I was like, that's kind of cool. But <laughs> you didn't like your shirt? Well, it was just the way He it doesn't hanging. like it like that. So um, the only issue I had was I said to myself during the year, self this would be cool if you could just make tags that you could use all year round christmas and for their birthday or whatever you needed tags for right so that's what i decided to try to do tonight i cannot make them all but i wanted to show you what my plan was i want simple easy and like an evening project i'm not looking for something that's going to be super hard or anything that's why i said prepare to be bored it won't be too bad. So this project is going to feature my monogram stamp sets, which are the favorite stamp sets I've ever made. If you're not familiar with them, here's how they work. Say you get the letter T, okay? You get all of these different options of T, and then down here you see you have the T's that are the rounded letters. This is so if you, like, if you have three initials, not everybody does, that's why I say that. If you have three initials, you can put one on this side, one on this side, one on this side, and get the round monogram. And you can even punch, um, punch that out with like a two inch circle punch or use a die. So I'm not using this one tonight. I'm using this one. I want you to see what I have in mind. All right. So this covers my family and this is kind of funny. Um, I don't have them in order of age or anything. I've got Emmy, Addie, Jared, Josh, Joe, Jenna, <laughs> Sam Thomas Taylor. So that's what I need for my family, right? Also, sneak peek, Wacky Wednesday. Be watching because I think there might be a sale. Wacky Wednesday tomorrow. Be watching. So if you're wanting to pick up some monogram stamps, it is a good time. I'm going to start with A because A. <laughs> right? And let me show you what else I'm doing. Because I want this to be year round, I don't want these. I want to make as many from one sheet as I can. Well, here's a couple things. So I don't buy as many individual gifts as I used to. Like we don't have as many under the tree, 
you know, the kids grow up, they just want money. They just want something they can go spend somewhere else. So they might get a gift card or their stocking might have a lot of cute stuff in it. But we usually like give three or four gifts, if that, if that. So I'm thinking if I make a whole sheet for each kid, it should last me the whole year with gifts I'm gonna give them, right? My kids will be like, that's sad, mom. <laughs> anyway, so here's what I did. I wanna make sure you guys can see this. And I'm on a little delay too on the camera, so I apologize if I pause every now and then. Um, yeah, I'm not making Vinny's tags. You know why? We don't typically buy each other Christmas gifts. We get gifts from other people or we might buy something as a joint gift, like for the house, or we might mm -hmm. go on a trip. Yeah. We might do that. So we really don't, I did make tags for him and I still have some of your tags left. So not gonna make Vinny. He'll still get all the love, all the love. So here's what I did. But I do see that we have 550 people watching, which I'm, I'm proud of. But then I see how many of those 500 people don't like us. And that's a little disappointing. Don't like the video. <laughs> so only 197 likes with 556 people watching. Hey, you guys help us out and give us a thumbs up and let us know that you enjoy watching. We appreciate it. By the way, they were all doing that before the show started and it was being super sweet. They were like, let's try to surprise events. And that was super sweet. They love super you. Super sweet. They do love you. Okay, check this out. Also, um, this week I got a poor May May under a video, so I just want to say thank you for that. Um, <laughs> a comment was a poor May May. So here's what I did. Because I want these to be neutral, so they can be Christmas, birthday, anniversary, da 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 whatever, I went through my craft supplies. You can see these papers are all different kinds. Well, they're two different kinds. Echo Park, Photo Play. Nope, Echo Park Doodlebug. And I just picked one out and I went, this is Joe's, this is Josh's, this is Thomas, this is Jared, this is Jenna, this is Sam, this is Taylor, this is Emmy, this is Addie. So just put their little initials down here. And since we're gonna start with Addie, we'll go here. Isn't that cool? Like these pages are good and masculine. Like this is from Dots and Stripes. This is from Doodlebug. This is some I had left over. What a great way to bust your stash. Everybody's got people in their family with initials unless they have a symbol for their name, and then you got that. So, what did Prince do at Christmas? Did everybody have his symbol on his? Don't know who this one's for. <laughs> okay, now then, I'm going to make sure I'm in camera here, in shot here, and I'm going to be cutting off the um, branding strip. Now, remember when I told you all about the branding strips? You want to put your paper to 12 inches in your trimmer. Don't trust this, okay? The reason is a lot of times the companies are generous. So put the paper to the 12 inch mark of your trimmer and then cut. This one looks like it's gonna be just right. But sometimes I can have a pretty big piece of um, pattern paper still on there, but not today, not today, so we're good. All right, now, when you're gonna make your tags, here's what you need to do. You need to decide what shape you wanna do and what size you want to do. This piece of paper could do any shape and any size up to 12 by 12 tag. You see what I'm saying? So here's what I did. I'm going to let, this is not the one, I got the wrong one, Shannon. Oh, hang on. Let me get this. I'm sorry, I got to get up. I'm going to let a punch tell me I love punches. Like it's a thing for me. And I love, love, love this one. Um, let me get that where y'all can see it. This is a Dress My Craft Punch that does tags for you. And it's gonna help me know the size I need because it has the parameters for me, okay? The only thing I have to decide is how tall I want them. And because I want to use as much of this paper as I can, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut this into four inch strips to start with. Oops. Four inches. Someone asked about Mente. The new Mente release is pretty impressive. It shipped on the 17th, I think. It ships. It may have. I think it shipped on the 17th. Also, let me show you. I'm using the biggest tag. I really wish I didn't have a delay, but I do. I'm sorry if I'm not in camera. I'm using the biggest tag, and you can see that it says two and a half. So I need to do these at two and a half. So they're going to be four by two and a half. I had to think for a second. That is correct. Now I got a look. You got me curious. So I'm going to lay this in here. Oh no, she ordered her monogram sets too soon. If you were here last week, Vinny T's to the sale. Y'all heard me. Um, it's so funny. Today, Taylor came in. I called her in. I said, Taylor, 
I need you to get with your father-in-law and work on that monogram stamp set sale. And she said, okay. So she went to walk away. What did she say? She said, do I need to convince my father-in-law or just tell him we're doing it? Yeah. <laughs> do I need to, yeah. And I said, that's so funny because she's going to go in there with a different attitude depending on what she's got to do. We all know what we're doing, right? I said, no, he already has agreed to it. Just go tell him we need to do it. <laughs> so it was funny. All right, so two and a half. Um, if you don't have any punches, here's what you can do. Just cut the corners like a tag or... If, well, if you don't have any punches, you wouldn't have the corner punch either or the um, corner. Yeah, it is a corner punch. Okay, I've got a couple strips left. What do I tell you about these? These are going right into my scrap bin because these are perfect for card making. I can use those. Matter of fact, they're four inches, which is perfect. All right, so I'm going to put those in bin just like that and finish this one up. And then I'm going to see how many we get. I have not looked, so I'm going to see. What I think is neat is I think, I think it's a very simple this is a very simple project but I think people think it's pretty neat when they get a gift that has like their it just feels like you thought you know it just feels like you thought all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch first and the reason is because I want to know where I can um, stamp so see how this lays between the marks let me hold that there for just a second it lays right between the little indents for two and a half inches it's perfect and so what we're going to do is punch. And look, oh man, that's so awesome. If you got to make 1,411, this is good. Do I have to make 1,411? We're going to see how many we're making. Oh man, it seems like you have to make 1,411 J's. I do have to make a lot of J's. If you don't like J's, <laughs> then you don't want to be in my family. I even thought I could put two initials like, you know, JM, JT. J.M. That wouldn't help either. <laughs> we have Jared Michael, Joseph Michael, so it wouldn't work. Um, come on. Somebody said, how do I organize Ben? Recently, Ben got a girlfriend. Um, we outgrew Ben. Well, that's not, okay, let me tell you this. I have four Bens, okay? I have one for chipboard, all the scraps of chipboard. I have one for glitter, vellum, metallic specialty I found another, one. another bin did I have one somewhere mm -hmm. yeah, there's one on the shelf below it too. okay and I have one for black and one for white well that's true we do have five and we have one for color scraps color scraps um, six. and it's it's really a good way to do it I really like it and I find that I go to it first like I I go to Ben, unless I need a full sheet like this, I go to Ben, to, to ben. I go to Ben first, every time. See how cute these are, like this is no work. If you have a Cricut, just set up a whole page of these to cut. Cricut, Silhouette, Scan and Cut, just let a whole 12 by 12 cut as many as it can get on there, and then you don't have to do this. For those of you asking about Picture Perfect, it's already on reorder, and I believe it's supposed to be here on the 28th. As long as no raccoons jump in the mix. I have to tell y'all a bat story. Not that happened to me, but I was really shocked about it. I'll have to tell y'all in the after show. Okay, so somebody had to remind me about the bat story. Make a note, because you know I'll forget. So here we go. What'd we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's that's a really I mean, I should have known, but that's good, right? Twelve tags. Four Addy Bug. So let's bring our Misty over because there's no way I'm doing these not assembly line. <laughs> right? Okay. So this guy goes here. These are coming. I know how much you want them. They're coming. I talked to Clyde this week. He's making he's making so many of them. So you'll see those soon enough. All right. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put, ooh, there is eek everywhere. It's everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Does that mean I used it last? I don't know who did, but I just don't want that on me or on my project. I'm bad about getting it on there. How do you do that? I'm not sure. A little being, too heavy-handed, I Being reckon. a lefty and me telling you to use it as a righty, like me trying to help you? Could be. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. I'm going to go to my stamps. I'm going to get the A that I want. And remember, I want to use this one, okay? You could use any of the others, but I just like this. I like this. I feel like it goes right now it seems like it fits the trend 
also, I have seen this done where they stamp onto like a white piece and then mount it. That's beautiful too, but what we say in the beginning, easy and quick is what we're looking for. All right, now I would suggest, before you do that, to stamp on a sample. This is a sample that we did earlier. So I, just every time you reset a letter, test it. That's what I would do. Because you're going to be making these. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. My kids will not care if their tag is crooked as long as there's a gift attached to it. They are not going to care. It's me that cares. <laughs> so attach a gift to it and you're fine. I guess that's uh, kind of like anything, isn't it? Sandra, I'm not sure I understand your question, but all the orders that we fill, or we order product for all of those orders that we ship out. So uh, in-state, out-of-state, wherever. All right, so this stamp has never been used, so I'm going to season it a bit. So you see how, you might not even can see it, but I got a little pale right there. I don't love that. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to do it one more time to get it good and seasoned before I go to my papers. Oops, look, I got ink on here too, babe. I just know just if... By, uh, you know just by the fact that Alabama is a small state and there are 49 other states. We sell a lot more product in other states than we do here in Alabama, so. All right, so I'm going to put this down. We're gonna do the whole thing, all right? We're gonna do the whole thing. The real deal. Bless you, Shannon. Y'all wanna see our five bins? They're not secret. Look how cute. Now won't this be cute with some baker swan tied to Addie's presents? And under the tree, I'll know instantly that's ads. You know what I'm saying? I just love it. Okay, uh, Heather brought up a sensitive subject and I need to address it. We have sensitive subjects around here. Heather said, Vinny, I loved your tag. It looked like you used right hand scissors. Very impressive. Honestly, I did cut out the Christmas tree, but I did not fussy cut the Christmas tree. That's called creative editing. My wonderful assistant finished the fussy cutting because I know that y'all don't, don't want to believe this, but it's just not my forte. You were supposed to say you have a secret skill for fussy cutting. No, I can't, I cannot tell a lie, but my special skill is named Shannon. So Shannon did my fussy cutting. I just kind of trimmed it out and through the process of creative editing, it happened. So He should have never told y'all, y'all were so proud of him. Look, I could not let them be proud of me for true. something I didn't do. That's true. I have to be honest. And in those um, tagging videos, one thing that's so interesting, I think this is neat. I think y'all should know this. So Shannon became the director. Like she directed all those videos. Like, I, I mean, literally everybody but me, you stood with, yeah. um, well, and not Brenda. No. You didn't have to direct Brenda. But like everybody else she stood with, and if she had to fussy cut, um, I think Vince is the only one you fussy cut for. Yeah. Everybody else did their own fussy cutting. Um, but she directed if she and she would help them find their product, help them know what could, what was in the store, what they could use, what they couldn't. So I just want to say thank you to her and Tamitha because they really, really, really have made the tagging videos go. Like I filmed mine. That's all I had to do. Shannon, I wish y'all could see. We need to do a tour for them so they can see this. Yeah, well, right. we need to do this. Maybe we can do this tomorrow. Maybe we do it on Facebook. But this. Um, she had to set up these two filming stations so she could have people like we literally at one point in time had three people, three people filming, five people in the room working, trying to get them all done. Um, and so I would like for you all to see Shannon did such a good job. She directs, she gets all their products together. She gets everything to their hands. She makes sure they stay in camera. She was a huge help. Y'all can't know. She, she is really good at directing the videos. And she's now working on thumbnails, which I'm super excited about because I got to have help with that. Huh? I've done all How many did you do for tagging?
Isn't that awesome? Like she's learning. I'm learning all kinds of stuff. Every rag I have, I throw on the ground. She's learning all kinds of. Really, she is, and she's doing so good. So now she can, she can. <laughs> you can um, teach. Well, let's see. You moderate. Moderate. You give me directions when we do a card kit. You teach. She's now running the live show. She's doing the live streaming over there. She directs videos. She keeps my schedule, which is the hardest thing she has to do. Keeps me on task. Is your mic on, Shannon? Your battery could have died. Check your batteries. We we go until batteries die, so we don't waste any. All right. Um, Maybe I just Tamitha didn't have it on. Said, Sorry, y'all. I'm on now. Tamitha says what happens in the editing room stays, stays in the, the editing, editing room. room. But... I did not know he was going to give his secrets away, Tam. That was on him. He's right, though. He couldn't let people be proud of something he did not do. He had to tell the truth about that, which we didn't mean for it to no. be deceitful. It's just... Sometimes it's easier. Like She had those cut for him. We designed his tag. The three of us did. And you had those cut before you ever started filming. Mm -hmm. And then he started cutting in the video, and then they just cut to the other one. So, And we do that a lot, too. Like, not... Not that someone else does it for us, but we might fussy cut ahead of time. So you'll see us like start and then cut away and go to the ones we pre-cut. Because those trees are a little fun. You did a good job on them, though. Thanks. I had <laughs> she, a good teacher. Uh, Marie says you probably need a raise. We're going to wait just a little bit. We'll talk about <laughs> They're still trying Wednesday. to figure out if they're going to keep me. We'll talk about Wacky Wednesday in the after show. <laughs> We're still trying so. to just out of you get to keep your job. <laughs> I do want y'all to know, and I know that you do, but we're very aware of how how blessed we are with our staff and how good they are at what they do, and we try very hard to let them know that. And I hope that I think they know. I think we know. But we work very hard to let them know they're appreciated. They are our staff's amazing. Somebody asked me today, a visitor. Terry, I'm gonna say Terry. So if you're watching later, she said, "Mom, I saw your schedule. You're busy. How do you do it?" And I said, uh, "Delegating." I said, "These people." I, I literally said, "Shannon, Amber, Taylor." I started naming everybody off because that's how we do it. It's the staff. They are so good. And I will tell you, speaking of staff doing so good, in the other room at 6:23. Uh, Ajax is packing orders. Do y'all know Ajax? Not because so we ask her to. She's staying late to help get your orders out on time. And I want to clarify, not because we ask her to. No one asked her to work this late. She asked if she could stay, and I said, Do you need to? And she said, I would like to. And I said, You can stay. Ajax when is Jasmine, by the way. Mame typed Jasmine in her phone, and she spelled it wrong, and it changed it to Ajax, so that's just become her nickname. And what's funny about it is we were still learning Jasmine. We were still getting used to her, and she said that's pretty appropriate because I really, really, really love to clean. <laughs> so it's just stuck. She's Ajax. What black ink? I'm using Versafine Onyx Black. It's my favorite black ink. Uh, Kim, it does take a village. To, it does. Uh, to do this. It is not, uh, thanks to all of you, we have grown to the point that there is no way that Mame and I could do this alone like we did the first year. There is no way. Y'all, Vince gets, me the, gets these for me on Amazon in packs, and I requested the black because the colored ones look real bad after, after yeah. no time. But you can buy... You, I mean, I don't, we don't share the link for those, do we? No, if I don't we, have. I don't have it. I, I mean, could get one. We, we get them. You can get them at Walmart, but not anywhere. typically black. They're just those. Uh, what Micro, do you call them? Microfiber. Microfiber towels. towels. That's like all it the is. The car towels that you yeah. dry cars with. I um, just say I need some rags, Vinny, and he gets them. Kathy wants to know if there is going to be a place where we could see all. They could see all the tags at one time. We haven't ever done that. We hadn't thought about it. We yeah. could we could maybe we, do a little yeah. recap video. We could do a flip a tag flip through. Yeah, we could do a short. Yeah, we could do that. So we could put it on TikTok and then Tamantha could load it as a short. Yeah, I could I could make that. Well, the director will get I on could it. Make that happen. And then Tamantha will have to make that happen. Yeah. Oh, uh, that. 
Jasmine is a is a worker. She Y'all, works she's a very blessing. hard, and she uh, she already loves you guys just like y'all were her family. And she came in here as if she was already family. I can't. Yeah. You'll get to know her more and more, but she really did. She and she has been pulling orders and packing orders all day. Not alone. She's had help, but this afternoon she asked if she could stay. So we hired help in the um, well. Thomas and Jenna have both moved on to their, their big people jobs. Like we knew this was coming. Like that's just how it is around here. My kids stay until they go to their big people jobs. So now the only, the only child we have left, which is not really our child, is Taylor. Um, but we have her until her big people job kicks in too. Um, so we hired a new person in um, shipping and she works with Jasmine. And I'm not gonna, I won't introduce her yet because I haven't asked her. I didn't interview her or anything, so I don't really know if she's okay with camera or any of that information. Yeah. So we're not going to say any of that just yet. Just know she has help. Um, our folios. We have not announced how many have come in. It's a um, lot. There's still more, actually. When I went up front to get this stuff for tonight, um, there was a box of mail from the post lady um, with more um, ta uh, it looked like folios in it. So... We are still getting them all together to get them all ready. Um, is Versafine Onyx Black alcohol marker friendly? No, no. it's pigment. It's not. It's, uh, it's a pigment. For that, you want a dye or memento is what I use. Memento. Oh, wow. We got two super chats tonight. <gasps> Thank you so much. Hold on. Don't do it without me. Ready? <sighs> from Terry and from... Den Denaya? I'll go with that. Dinia. Dinia? Or Dinia. Dinia? Um, crafting Rose. May May's um, trimmer does not have a scoring blade on it. No. I, I'm going to tell you all, I broke that blade. I know it. It goes through pe three pieces of Echo Park, no problem, but it won't cut through that third one for me right now. I have microscopically broken the tip that I can't see. I need to move that blade to a chipboard blade and put a new one in. But I'm trying to just use it as long as I can. It just means I ha it's still cutting great. I just have to do less pages yeah jackie the only reason we order those microfiber uh rags from amazon is because i buy them in bulk i mean i'll get a pack that's you get them from wherever 40 or 50 in it but i also just as quick to go to walmart and pick them up uh, so i think know. dollar general has them yeah i believe they do and but dollar I, tree has them too the problem is i like the black ones so i almost put that on upside down wouldn't that have been funny if I did all of these upside down and y'all be like, stop, stop it. Yeah, we'll talk about Wacky Wednesday in the after show. All right, we got 789 people watching oh, and 508 I likes. Pronounced it right. So, oh, yeah. you know, 282 of y'all hadn't decided whether you like us yet or not. But uh, 508 like us. Are you going to do another call design another but let me try this again are you going to do another design team call soon probably not we have tried our hand at design team and it's not the designers the de designers do a great job our business model doesn't work for design team I don't because I'm not a person who designs all our product like I don't have a six month lead time or even a three month lead time of when we're going to get product or what we're going to get. The only thing I have that on is stamps and we don't, we, because the way we run our business, we don't order our stamps that far in advance. And you guys know, even with me, it's so hard because product comes in, the designers or myself want it and then it sells out and then we make videos on it. And the question is always, how do I get that? How do I get that? Which I understand, but it never seems to line up well with us and design team. Not that our designers are not amazing. If you go back and look, we have had some incredible designers and they have all done, I've never had a bad experience with a design team member. Like we've had, how many have we had? Tamitha knows. I don't we'll know Tamitha does that. We've had a we'll lot. And oh, we- Oh no, that one Kim Dixon, she's something. <laughs> Kim Dixon, <laughs> is she watching? Probably not. No, probably not. She will She'll now. She'll get a laugh when They talked about it. you. Yeah, we love um, Kim. That's how we I got Kim. To. That's how we got her. Yep. But it just never works out for us. And it and I I don't know why. I do think it has to do with the fact that we don't really design like 
<clears throat> our paper packs or, you know, we don't have a calendar saying this is coming in then, we need the design team to work on this and get yeah. it out, blah, blah. We just don't get to do that. Um, maybe one day if I'm doing my own paper and all that, which don't don't look for that anytime soon because my theory is what? About product? Oh, it may come, it may not. No, don't reinvent the wheel. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like I believe right. that we have incredible designers working for these companies and um, that have incredible brilliant ideas and i'm just i just assume get their product and use it as try to design my own and spend all that time so design look Tameth said design team is a lot of work not for me but for Tameth. <laughs> so we've tried it yep there's probably a lot of our designers um that you found through that probably a lot and we love them all to this day yes uh, the machine that she is currently using is the Misty, and it is a stamp positioning tool that we think is, you know, better than sliced bread. Yeah, and then talk about that thing to the the right of your Misty that your your ink pad's sitting on. What's that thing called? This is called the Ink Bandit. This is called the Ink Bandit, and it's coming to a maymaymadeit.com near you. <laughs> um, this is something that I came clack up with. Clack -tack. The clack attack. I'm going to go do the clack attack and tell him to hurry up. Um, this is something I came up with years ago. I even did a video showing y'all. And let me just tell you, you can do exactly this. Find yourself a shallow lid, a shoebox lid, something like that. Make yourself a box and then just wrap some rubber bands around and use it to hold your um, ink as you stamp. And something I, I don't think I even said this last week, but some people ask, what do you do if you change colors? Just change your rubber bands. I mean, you can just pick up a pack of rubber bands and just switch them out. I typically, I typically mass produce with black. You know, it's unusual that you would mass produce with a lot of different colors unless you're doing some layer stamping. So I just, if I use this guy, it's usually for black ink anyway. But I love it and it's coming. My friend Clack of the Clack Shack is um, making them for me and I'm really excited. I never, I never thought we'd actually make one. I told y'all, no, 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 whatever. But I thought, Clack can make this. And we do need to tell you in advance that he hand cuts these out. I mean, okay. not with his fingers. So this is a time consuming project. He laser cuts them and I think he can cut four at a time on a sheet. So we've ordered a hundred of them to start. And then when those sell out the first 30 seconds, <laughs> we will have him already making another batch. He is absolutely cutting furiously. Like he sent me a video yesterday. I think I shared it where he was showing the stack of them. And if you want to see, he'll probably show it. Um, he'll probably show it on his channel, probably on his channel or either. Are you going to add your logo to the ink band? Probably not. We talked about it. That's just another step he has to do. It just takes time. I know that's silly, but we just we just want to get these. Look, I wanted one, I, you know, and everybody's like, what if somebody runs with it? Well, I showed that one years ago and they didn't. And if they would have, I wouldn't be doing this. I'd be buying what they made. I mean, that's how I am, right? Yep. I don't really like the process of making and waiting and ordering. And, you know, I, I'd rather, I'd love it if somebody could come up with one. <laughs> um, maybe some company could reach out and I could be the face of their Ink Bandit. We have not announced the price of the Ink Bandit as of yet. Because he is, because we have a price with him, but we want to be sure that's what he can do. Because if there's one thing, I'm going to tell y'all about me. I don't ask people to lose money over me. I mean, and that's, I'm not going to ask somebody to lose money over me. That's not the point of supporting your friends. The point of supporting your friends is to support your friends and not ask them to give you discounts. And when I, when she says that, <laughs> She means, never mind. <laughs> we were negotiating the price and he gave me a price and I know supply and demand and I know what he's doing and how long it takes, blah, blah. And I said, that's ridiculous. He said, but you're my buddy and I want to give you the buddy discount. And I said, I had a friend teach me years ago. I want y'all to hear this too. I had a friend that I worked with teach me this years ago. And he said, if you can't make money off of your friends, you can't make money. And he said, because your friends want you to be successful and they don't need a discount from you. They need to pay you what you're worth. So I said, let's go to 
I said, give me a better number. So he did. And I said, you know, that's still not enough. And I love when people can just give me their number like they know their number. And finally, I said, what about this number? And he said, you know, you're bargaining in the wrong direction. <laughs> yes, you did. So we've been teased about that by lots of people, how we bargained in the wrong direction. But the thing is, guys, here's what you got to know. If we try to get something so super cheap from somebody, what happens is we won't be able to get it next time because they'll realize this is not this is not uh, lucrative for me. And I don't want that to happen. I said, Clack, I want to be able to order these again and again and again. I want this to be you know, lucrative so you'll want to do it because we're going to want these over and over. So I do business a little different. I'm not just going to, I'm not going to give what it's not, what, yeah, I'm not going to give what it's not worth. I didn't say that right, but. Missy, the, the fine metal tip is what that's called for art glitter glue. It does not work on the barely art bottles. So if you have barely art, it will not work on their bottles. It only works on art glitter glue. Barely art comes with its own fine tip. All right, we got two done in a little over 30 minutes. We're going to head to the after show. And I only have a little bit to show y'all, so we may we may go back and do a couple more after I show all the stuff. Because I can have more kids done. <laughs> so I can have more, more kids. kids done. Um, we'll talk about We'll see if we can get our name on it some way. We'll see. If we did, it might be on the inside, but I'll tell you why. Because, or maybe the very bottom. I think Clack's name's going on the bottom, though. I think. Um because I want you, the reason we did it like this is I want you guys to be able to cover it with uh, paper, with cardstock. And so we have a free SVG file for it too. So when you buy it, there's an SVG to cut out. All right, we're going to end this one. Oh, so Linda, we have an SVG for it. When we when we post the product, it'll have the link for the free SVG as well. He, he made that, that for us too. you cut out stuff to decorate it with. Yeah, so you can go to your Cricut and cut out the exact shape and then glue it on. He It was so cute. He said, uh, I asked him if we could get the SVG file, and he said, yes. He said, please tell Vinny I gave you that for free. I said, I will. <laughs> All right, so what you have to do is you have to go to the Clack Shack on YouTube. The Clack Shack, C-L-A-C-K. I'll wait for Timothy to link it. I'm sure she has that link since she, she, already she did already. Yeah. So go to the Clack Shack, and what you got to type is, this is tonight's mission. Ready? We need our ink bandits. That's what he knows we're playing, but he loves it. Okay? So we need our ink bandits. Is there like a pound in your fist emoji? <laughs> Say, Clack, this is a Clack attack. That's what we call it. You get to say, we need our ink bandits, clack attack. <laughs> and we think it's so funny. I think it's funny. Okay, so we're going to um, close this show out, and we're going to start back with our after show. The link for the after show is right here, and that's where we can talk about anything we want to, which is different from here where we didn't, but it feels like we did. So <laughs> we love you guys. We'll see you in just a few minutes.